Runners, this next set of exercises are for you. They're about activating the glutes, keeping your tailbone tucked up underneath you and staying tall throughout your stride. The focus of them is to really get that glute medius to fire so that your hips are stable when you strike the ground into your next stride. Try these out, there's four of them. They all involve just a band to wrap around your feet or your knees throughout each exercise. Do, do these exercises probably two to three times a week, 10 to 15 reps each. And the idea is to create a stable environment so that when you strike the ground, you can stride through powerfully to your next stride. Give these a shot. Let us know what your thought process is. Right behind me is an Alter G. It's an anti-gravity treadmill. If any of you runners want to give it a try, call us here in the office. Let us know what we can do to help you out during these times. Hey runners, here's a great one for you. All you need is a band here around your knees and what we're gonna do is shift our weight from side to side. And as we shift our weight side to side, we're gonna keep the opposite hip just off the ground and this is gonna really light up our glutes. Try to keep those toes pointing forward, knee over that second toe as that opposite leg and we make sure that we're rising right up out of that. And what we wanna to try to do here is shift our weight maintain glute activation, keep our pelvis tucked underneath us, our core nice and stable, and this is to translate weight with each running step that you take. This one's a burner, so have fun with it. Once you've completed that one with the band around your knees, drop that band down towards your feet, and we're gonna just do some monster steps side to side. Maintain the tension in the bands so that the glutes and the hips are engaged this entire process. In other words, I don't wanna see that foot coming over all the way in and you lose your tension. Always maintain tension in this exercise. The band should be placed closer towards the front of the foot, toes pointing forward, knees pointing forward at the same time, side to side, you're gonna feel this in your glute. Make sure your tailbone tucks underneath you and you don't stick it behind you there. Wanna make sure that we stay right up underneath it. This is another burner for you. Exercise number three here is an RDL. We've taken that band, put it over our foot here, and we're gonna come down into that hip flexion position, and we're gonna drive the hip upward. Engage the glute as you reach the top, and drive upward. If you wanna in increase the movement, bring the knee along with it. Drive the hip up. And for this last one, we're gonna sit in a plank position on our elbows and on our toes. We're gonna to bring our hips into extension. And lift, hold, and back down. Switch, lift, hold, and back down. Try not to get the tush up in the air or let it drop all the way down. Nice and stable. Lift, and down, lift, and down.